my name is Lizzie. I'm going to show you how to fold your very own origami cell. So hopefully you've got a sheet which looks a bit like this and I really do want to encourage you to colour it in. Find out about the little, little structures inside a cell. One side is plant and one side is human and maybe you can compare the two. So maybe do a bit more colouring than I've done but that's the idea, colour it in. And this is how it should end up looking. So I'm going to show you how to, how to fold. So take your piece, it's nice and easy, you'll be glad to hear. So take your piece of paper like this and fold it into in half. Now with origami, the idea is just to be really nice and neat and tidy. Just take your time, go slowly, you can do it. So I'm folding it in half and I've really lined up those corners well. Now I'm opening up and I'm going to take the outside and bring it to the middle line. So it's going to, in the end, be a little bit like a cupboard. So I'm bringing the outside to the middle. And this is really to remind you that cells we learn about maybe in a textbook, but they are 3D things. And this gives you a feeling of how you can look inside a cell, the basic unit of life. So there we go. So it looks a bit like a cupboard. Now open it up. And I would recommend twizzling it round. We're going to next fold it in half the other way. So folding in half. And this shows half is a cheek cell and half is a palisade cell, plant cell. Mm, these are fairly big cells actually. There we go. So opened it up again. I'm going to take the outside and bring it to the middle line as well. So a bit like the last step. So, so the picture is sort of disappearing for now. And that's fine. What we're folding actually is a traditional Japanese box. There we go, the outside to the middle. So hopefully it's looking like this. And keep it closed. I want you to take a corner and fold it along that line there. So I'm going to take this corner, I'm going to line it up there, like so. Okay, just take your time and you're going to do that for each of these corners. So taking the corner, lining up, easier to do it on a solid surface I would suggest, that's what I'm going to do as well. Just so you can see what I'm doing there. And then the other two corners, like so. And then the final corner as well. We're almost there. It's that simple. There we go. So we're going to, can you see there's almost a sort of an edge here. What we're going to do is lift up that edge. We're going to keep these corners closed and we're going to lift up the edge and bring it up to tuck over those corners. So I'm going to lift up this edge and fold it back as a good strong fold. And it's wonderful to think the paper itself is made of cell walls from obviously from plant cells. There we go. And we're going to do the same at the bottom. So taking that, holding the corners closed, taking that flat and bringing it down and squashing it down over it. So it should be looking something like that for you. I hope it is. So as it is now, we're almost there. All you need to do is just gently, gently open. I'll slightly just make sure it goes in a bit there and there you go you've got a nice little round cell that you can look inside there and uh, hopefully it just brings it to life a little bit more than a flat picture now I've included a bit of a challenge because you have a second sheet as well second sheet like this and you could maybe color in that little rectangle red and have a go if you'd like a really big challenge and try and fold that in exactly the same way and you will find that it will fold up to make a tiny little red blood cell you see how small that is so small it's flying and this is to scale so it's very tiny it's how tiny a red blood cell is compared to other cells it's really little and it's why they don't have a nucleus they have no space thank you good luck with your challenge